Hi, Ryan from Metro Hobbies. Today I'm going to show you how to look after your model trains. As much as they're fun to run around, they do get dirty and they need to be oiled to keep them running smoothly as possible. Generally, oiling, just moving parts, axles and such the like underneath them, and whether they're an old train like that or a nice shiny new locomotive like this little guy, they need to be lubricated to keep them running at their best. The easiest way is to get a proper lubricant specifically designed for these type of models with a needle applicator so that when you go to put the oil on you can get it to exactly where you need to be putting it on the axles without too much runoff. With locomotives a little bit more care must be taken in their lubrication because they have a lot of moving parts down the bottom all your push rods and valve guides and everything that need to be lubricated as well but don't put too much oil onto them because dust will stick onto them and dust unfortunately does wick a lot of oil away from the moving parts. After lubricating the trains it's a good idea to check your railway line because your performance can drop off when the oil that runs off the wheels ends up on the railway line itself and dust sticks to it, it becomes a bit of an insulator and where the uh, current is being drawn off the rails if you don't have a good clean rail the train's not going to run at its optimum performance. The easiest way to clean those is either with a solvent and don't use anything too harsh watch out for chemicals because they can damage plastics which most of the railway sleepers are made out of. So methylated spirits works very very well or a commercially available solvent for specifically designed for model railway will do the job as well. I like to use a a thing called the track rubber and basically it's fairly abrasive so don't use it too much because you can damage the nickel plating on the railway line but that will clean stubborn stains off very very quickly and easily. Another idea too is just check all your rolling stock because rolling stock needs to be lubricated as well and if the wheels are very very heavy then your poor little locomotives are going to be battling to pull them along. Have fun!